So here we are at the Hale Cemetery in Sullivan County, Indiana. It was established around 1837. So there are some very old burials, including which I believe was sort of the patriarch of the family, um, a William, uh, actually Richard Hale, who I his family, um, I believe as his father was a Revolutionary War soldier. He, I believe, served in the War of 1812. So somewhere in this area he lived and this is his family cemetery. There are, the stone here lists all of the burials, but obviously there aren't that many markers here. Just a few. And Richard Hale is not one of them. You can't find his stone. But there are some, as I said, 1833, I believe, is the earliest. If we're able to... 1862? Here, this looks like, I mean, this is very old, but again, it's really difficult to, probably one of the oldest, 18, this looks, this seems to be, see if, if you think this could be, that's 1830 something maybe, it's just 1838 maybe, if that's the case, that would be super old, S-C-H. I guess that would be kind of the footstone. Stephen Hale died 1862. This is a newer stone, but would this older. Be a newer one? Remade or something? Yeah, and so would this as well. And this, here's one. I don't know if this is a. Yeah, it looks like just a buried headstone. But I can't tell. Put it back. You can't see anything. And you can see the old stone. See, you can see over here the old stone that was here. Oh, and then they added like And then they've built, they built this larger, they added this larger one here. Stephen C. Hale, the S-C-H. That would have been the headstone. And on the other side, you've got like the footstone. Here is an older one. But again, it's just not possible to read so what were there probably 60 80 burials out here according to that monument and there's probably not even a third a lot of these you can't even read yeah there's one from 1809 over here I, I, oh yeah, I think I yeah. 1914 a little newer look it's been like repaired out. nancy long wife of jm pool Died 1926. There's one here that died in 1835. 1835. I don't know what kind of like concrete old stone like epoxy or something. Here's an 1868. One Manda J. Wife of J.M. Poole. And then here is J.M. Poole himself. So you've got husband and wife buried side by side. Charles W. Son of J.M. and... Uh, Mandy Pool. So there's the son. And John Wiley, son of J.M. Pool. So John Wiley Pool died 1888. What is this one? Phoebe Hale died 1894, born uh, 1803. That is a super. She was born 1803. I don't know who she is in relation to Richard Hale. Father and mother, so I don't know if this other side, if we've got who we have. Can you, can we see who this is? 1799 to 1886, but Captain, do we, have a, do we have a cell phone light that we can put? Captain, even that's not helping too, a little bit maybe. Captain John, I, I don't know. I can't see the last hail, I believe it is. But anyway, this, uh, there's an epitaph, but you can't read it. But this is, it says father and mother. So Phoebe and John Hale, and these are very old. Look, here's a 
very old one just laying but you can't it's like 1867 you can't see the name looks like it's broken so half of it is someplace else David A. Hale. This is a newer one, 1951. David A. and Lily S., his wife. Adam, or Ada O., died 1884. There's an old one over here we'll have to take a look at. Promelia Hale. Died 18... Uh, 1908, something like that. Here's a stone here at the bottom, but it's not anything you can read. There's maybe a name on it, but it's hard to tell. Like the little, every one of these stones would have different, um, you know, the meaning. So you got the hands, the shaking of hands. That could be, I don't, would have to look up the meaning of that, but kind of hard to tell when they died. 18... 70 something maybe it's just it's just hard to tell this is the hale cemetery established 1837 in sullivan county indiana